Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today we're going to be doing a video on the brand new Dior New Look lipsticks. The packaging is new and limited edition and the bullets are new and limited edition. But the actual lipsticks themselves are signature Dior shades, but they are shades I've never tried and I couldn't see very many reviews on. So I thought I would give it a go and try them out for you guys today. Also I wanted to start 2022 with something new and exciting or intriguing or different. So I'm just going to get into it guys, I'm just going to review them. But if you haven't subscribed already guys, Please subscribe, we would love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the video. I got all three shades, which was quite unheard of for me. But since I spent the end of last year trying lots of red lipsticks and trying different shades and trying to be more creative and more outgoing, I don't know why I'm doing that, trying to be a bit more exciting, uh, I thought I would try the red because I was just going to get the nude and then I was like, no, let's try and be a bit more out there. So I decided to get a red a rosewood and then a nude which is the one I think is gonna look the best but it is quite a beigey nude so it might actually not be okay who knows but I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna test them all out for you guys today hopefully it'll be helpful for now and ever more these are shades that are part of their signature collection this is the Rouge Dior new look limited edition and it's a really signature Dior silhouette and that was a new new look I think it came out in 1947 if I'm being correct with my fashion history I'm not sure um, but I think that's right so the new look is like a signature part of the Dior history and in this new look limited edition collection Dior lipsticks have all all come in a houndstooth uh, packaging which is kind of random and it feels quite wintry and I thought why not it's quite unique and um, they are all refillable and yeah it just seemed like a really nice different type of packaging to get there were quite a few shades as far as I can see from online publications and social media channels but there are only four left on the Dior website and one of them is a lip balm. As you guys know, the lip balm's not my favorite. I don't find it a very long lasting lip balm. It's cute, it's aesthetic, but it just doesn't really do the job it needs to do. So I wouldn't recommend going for the lip balm. And they do also have three other shades. They have 999, which is their iconic red with a velvet finish. They have 720 Econ, or Icon, which is a rosewood with a velvet finish. And they have a 100 Nude Look, which is a nude with a velvet finish. So all of these are kind of a velvety matte. I actually haven't tried any of Dior's lipsticks like this before, so I'm actually very excited to try them. They are £39.50 and $45 US dollars, so they're not cheap. Hopefully they're good. I think all of these are going to be signature, long-lasting products. I'm pretty sure by now they're tried and tested formulas. But on the this new limited edition collection, you can see that they do have the houndstooth imprinted on the actual bullet of the lipstick, which is quite cool that they've gone the extra mile to really make it something special and give you a reason to buy it. All three shades do look nice. This is Nude Look. This is Rosewood. And this is 999. So they do all look, look like very flattering, everyday, helpful shades. These are 3.5 grams each and 0.12 ounces. I'm going to show you guys the packaging, I'm going to show you some swatches, and then I'm going to get into a demo. The lipsticks came in this very gorgeous box, which I absolutely love the look of. So pretty. I love the ribbon, the navy blue ribbon. It's so nice. It's so cute. Ooh.
those are the swatches on. I definitely do feel like there aren't very many dupes for these. So the 999, I don't think I have anything similar in my collection. It's quite a punchy red. It's even punchier than the KW red from Kia Wise. I thought that they would be dupes for each other, but the Kia Wise one's a bit more cherry, uh, a bit more berry, whereas the 999's got a bit more of an orangey true red to it. The rose, rosewood I don't really have a dupe for, and the, the new nude, the 100 nude, that one I'd say is probably the most like earth dust from Byredo, but it's a much more velvety texture. It's much more similar to uh, the Lisa Eldridge and the Pat, but I don't think it's as sheeny as the Lisa Eldridge or the Pat. They're definitely much more of a true matte, even though they are velvet and not matte. They definitely feel like a more matte finish on the, on the swatch. So yeah, I think the only dupe there is earth dust. For the nude but completely different texture completely different formula rosewood was much more red than i thought it was going to be i thought it was actually much more of a brownie nudie red but it's actually it is still a red to me i really like the nude that is exactly the type of nude i wanted or was looking for was hoping it would be and the red looks really nice it's actually a lot softer than i thought it was going to be as well. I absolutely love the packaging of these. I think it's really cute. It's a little bit more scratchy and matte than I thought it would be, uh, but it's actually really fun. It's really different. It's really cool. I, the thing I love the most about these lipsticks is the, the embossing of the hound's tooth on the lipstick bullet. I think it's so, so pretty, so different, so chic, and it kind of makes you feel like it's a bit worth the price, that they are quite expensive. And they are more expensive than a normal Dior lipstick, but I think the actual design is so nice. So I'm gonna try it on 999 first. So soft and creamy to apply, but much more sheer than I thought it would be. I can see a lot more of my lip through it than I thought I would. These are really soft and creamy on. I really like it. So this is it with one layer. I think I probably would need two layers or maybe just a lip liner. I'm going to pop another layer on just to see what it looks like. Kind of reminds me of the Kia Wise KW Red. It's got that kind of vibrancy to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off and I'm going to pop it on with a little bit of lip liner. I'm going to use the Lisa Aldridge Decade just around the edges just to see what it looks like a bit punchier, a bit richer as well. I like the depth the decade lip liner has given this it's still got that brightness it's also a bit more powdery it definitely looks a lot better in my opinion and much more like i wanted it to look so i do prefer this i did also have a tiny bit of lip balm on when i tried it on on its own so maybe that's why So guys, that is the 999 Iconic Red on. I do actually really like that. Obviously, it doesn't go perfectly with my eyes, but I do think this is a really nice shade. It's very comfortable matte. It's very creamy, really, really nice to wear, and I really like it with a lip liner on. I think it looks really good. Um, so I'm happy with that one. Next, I'm gonna try on the shade Rosewood, which is a kind of reddish, brownie, reddish, reddish shade. So I'm excited about this one. I was not expecting it to be this, this color, but I'm intrigued. definitely not as shiny I think it was the lip balm I had on that made it a bit more glossy and sheer this is really really nice I'm not sure it's my shade but the formulation is so nice so soft so creamy I'm going to try it on with the decade lip liner now This is 
is much nicer, I think, than it was on its own. It feels so creamy. They're really, really nice lipsticks. That having tried this one on with the lip liner, I think this might be the most flattering shade. Let me know your thoughts, guys, because I'm not sure. But I think it's quite a nice one. It's like a kind of safe red, I think. It's quite nice. It's got something to it. It's got like a coralness to it, but a browniness to it at the same time. It's quite a cool shade. So I do quite like rose red. And last but not least, guys, I'm going to be trying the one I've been looking forward to the most. This is the shade 100 Nude Look. And I'm really excited about this. I'm hoping it's gonna live up to my favorite nude shade, which is the Dior Ultra Care Lip Liquid Lipstick in the shade 736. I'm hoping this is gonna be like a lipstick, a normal lipstick version of it, or something similar. I do love, I do love a Movi nude, as you guys know. So I'm hoping this is gonna be my new Movi nude for the year 2022. So I'm gonna try it on without lip liner, which is surely going to look terrible, but then I will try it on with lip liner, which hopefully will look good. So last up, I'm going to be trying on the nude look with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense Lip Liner, my favourite lip liner in the world. You guys know already. Ain't nothing better, ain't nothing greater. <laughs> um, just the best brown lip liner ever made. So I'm going to pop that on first now. I thought I sharpened this. Okay, so now I'm going to try on the nude 100 shade, hoping that this is going to be the killer combo because that's what I had in my head. This is a perfect ombre lipstick and I think if I'd been a little bit neater with my lip liner, it'd look even better. But this is exactly what I wanted. This is definitely the perfect ombre for me. This is exactly what I've been looking for. It's got that chalkiness to it, but it still has a pinky moviness to it, which makes it a lot more flattering for my skin tone. So I'm going to show you guys a quick close up and then I'm going to finish up. So that is the lipstick in 100 on. This is exactly what I was looking for. I feel like it's finally my perfect nude. Obviously it looks horrific on its own, but with a lip liner, with my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense brown lip liner, it's perfect for an ombre. It's not too cool, it's not too pink, it's not too brown, it's just right. So I'm really happy with this. I'm actually really happy with all of the shades. I think the only th mistake I made was trying 999 on, on top of a lip balm. But then I guess it's quite helpful to see what it looks like as a different consistency or a different finish. I find the the actual feel of them and the wear of them really really comfortable super creamy super nice I'm really happy with them they've got a really nice opacity to them they've got a really great pigment I really like them they're lovely shades and they're all very flattering and I feel like I could wear them all the packaging is really pretty I don't think you necessarily have to spend the extra money if you don't want to because yeah it's really cute but it's you know essentially the same lipstick so if you don't want if you want to save a little bit of cash i would just recommend it, trying these in their original packaging but if you are a collector or you just want something a bit funky or it's a gift i do think they're really really pretty really different and they feel really nice even though they're kind of matte and scratchy it's quite comfortable and satisfying on your fingers so yeah i think these are really nice i love the quilting i love the cd i love the hound's tooth most most of all i love the hound's tooth on the bullet I just think that's so nice, so elegant, so chic, and makes it so special and makes it worth while. I'm glad they didn't just put it on the packaging and say, there you go. And once this is, ref as this is refillable, you will still be able to keep this packaging. You won't be able to keep the bullet, but you will still be able to keep this packaging. So it's really nice. I really like these. I think they're nice. I think the only one that had a strong enough scent that I could notice it 
was the rosewood but the, the other two the scent is not noticeable at all uh it's just rosewood i could kind of smell a little bit but they're all really nice i think i happily would get any of them again let me know your thoughts which one do you think is the best shade which one would you be trying if any let me know guys in the comments down below do you have any which ones do you love I haven't tried any other formulations. Apparently there's a matte metallic, a satin, and then the velvet. The velvet for me seems to be ticking all the boxes. Kind of reminds me of the Lisa Aldred, kind of reminds me of the pack and the Guerlain, like that formulation, that really nice creamy matteness, uh, velvet matteness, and similar to the Hermes as well. So I feel like I'm actually building up my lips, luxury lipstick collection now. Um, and I feel like this is a really nice addition. I'm really happy with all the shades. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Will you be buying anything? Will you be trying anything? Do you think the packaging is enough to get you to buy something new this year already? It's only day four or five. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great 2022. Happy 2022. I'm coming into 22 slightly groggy, but it is the beginning. The only way is up. Um, so hopefully the rest of the year I'm going to be living a very healthy, happy lifestyle. Hopefully you guys like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Will you be buying anything? Will you be trying anything? Let me know. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.